Today I'm gonna to teach you a meditation practice that can help to free you from painful relationship patterns and dynamics that keep showing up in your life. Our attractions to others pull us in subliminal ways toward what needs to be healed within. Some of our attractions take us to relationships that nurture us, where we are held, seen, and heard. They inspire us to create and encourage us to evolve. And some of our strongest attractions are to relationships that reflect back our wounds to us, where we act out our painful experiences from our past in order to resolve and understand them. But are painful relationship patterns inevitable on a path to healing? And are we meant to follow all of our attractions blindly down any road simply because we feel them? Do we make mistakes and choose the wrong partners or wrong friends? I believe that we are all guided by an innate desire to heal and to become whole. But when this desire is not fully mature, we can unconsciously gravitate toward painful relationships as a way to bring what needs to be healed to the surface. For example, if you had a tumultuous home life growing up as a child, or if something emotionally significant happened like a trauma or a betrayal by one of your primary caregivers, then you can be attracted to partners as an adult who will create the same type of emotional experience that you had as a child because it is not complete, healed, or resolved. From a distance, we can assume that that is dysfunction, but when you look at it closely, the soul is desiring to heal and it is doing that by creating an opportunity as an adult that expresses what we experienced as a child as a way to process the trauma and essentially to heal it but this is all unconscious. And because of that, we can re-traumatize ourselves and create even more unnecessary drama and pain. So we don't wanna do that. We wanna be conscious, and we wanna be conscious of these unconscious patterns and motivators. We want to bring them into the light so that we can heal them in a kinder, more loving, and integrated way. So today, I wanna to teach you one helpful practice that can help you to get to the root of a painful relationship that you may be experiencing in your life so that you can be free of that pattern once and for all. It is a two-part practice that I'm going to teach you in a shorter period of time than it may take for you to actually do it. So for now, you may just wanna grab a paper and a pen so that you can take some notes and write down the questions that I'm gonna actually guide you through. And then you can do this exercise on your own later or you can actually do the exercise with me now and then just repeat it later when you have more time to actually dive into it. So the exercise has two parts. The first part is an inquiry and the second part is a meditation for healing the pattern. So let's do the inquiry part first. So you're going to choose whatever relationship in your life that is giving you a painful or unpleasant emotion. It doesn't matter how young this relationship was, is, um, even if you just met them this week, <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're gonna take a full inventory of all of the painful emotions or thoughts that you have regarding this relationship. So now choose one of the feelings that is most prominent to you in this moment. Maybe it's anger or fear or rejection. And once you have the emotion or feeling, you're going to sit back in your chair and close your eyes. And now we're gonna do the meditation for healing. So close your eyes and feel. Feel the feeling. Focus on its intensity. How is the feeling making your body feel? Feel the feeling get more and more intense. Feel it pervading your body so that it is radiating from you. How is it impacting your body? Does your body wanna move in a particular direction? How is it impacting your mind? Feel it. Feel it dominating your entire body. How is the feeling impacting your breathing? Is it pushing you? Is it making you run or fight or hide? Do you want to scream or be quiet? Do you feel strong or powerless? Let yourself get deep into the nuances of this feeling. See where you are in this feeling of intensity and see what you are doing. Stay with it. Now, when was the last time that you felt this feeling? Was it this morning, this week? Who was it with? Where were you? What were you doing? Stay with it. 
And when did you feel this feeling before? Can you remember? Before the last time, when did you feel it? Was it with the same person? How about before then? Can you trace this feeling back all the way to the very, very first time that you felt it? Grab a hold of it like a thread and pull it to you, seeing each memory of this feeling and every person associated with it until you felt the feeling for the very first time. Now here you are, you are at the very first time that you ever felt this feeling. The reason this memory has come to surface is because it is ready to be healed. Where are you? Who are you with? What is happening? Stay with it. Does this feeling want you to know anything? Does it want to show you anything? If you were a child, you can send an adult version of yourself to protect your inner child, but do not abandon the feeling. And if this memory is in your adulthood, vision what you can do differently that didn't happen. This is your opportunity to go back to either your child self or to the moment that this happened and give them what you needed. And because your subconscious mind doesn't know time, you can literally change the memory and change the lineage of this memory throughout the course of your life. Is there something you could have done differently in this moment? Act it out now. Is there something you could have said or known? Be with this moment and really clearly see the different outcome play out. Did you have to say something? Should you have fought for yourself or left? Is there something that you would have needed to understand? If you were a child and the experience impacted you harmfully, you can literally change the outcome by explaining to your child self what they needed to know in that moment. Maybe they needed to understand that an adult around them needed healing themselves. If you needed to do something differently, or if you could have known something differently in this moment, give it to yourself now. See the outcome playing itself out. And when you're ready, take as much time as you need. You can come back to the present moment. This is a simple but powerful exercise that truly works. If you're new to exploring your emotions this way, this process can take a long time, sometimes 20 minutes or more. You can do this practice with any painful emotion pattern that plays itself out. Just be open to whatever comes up because sometimes emotional memories will be different than what you think they're going to be when you go into the practice. So try not to have any preconceived notions regarding your associations. It is very common to be surprised and just trust that just by simply going through this process, the healing has begun. Your desires, attractions, triggers, reactions, and perceptions can continue to change over the next few days and weeks. It is also not uncommon for the person you are in relationship with to also change before your very eyes because the relationship dynamic is no longer there. Thank you so much. If you like this content, please let me know by liking it. Leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram, Monica Yearwood, or my business account is Hamza Ayurveda. I hope that this information aids you on your path.